dream away, they say, without any explanation as to how one should accomplish the said dream. The dream to have a complete sense of freedom by traveling on two wheels was something I first learned when riding a motorbike in Vietnam in 2015. It then became something I always wanted to do again, but time and money never seemed to allow it. Two weeks after arriving in Serbia, I decided to revisit this dream and took the emotional and financial plunge. Driven by a little courage and a terrified heart, I began my 1500 km motorbike journey in this landlocked country in the central part of the Balkan Peninsula. Hello, good morning! It is a very exciting day today, the start of motorbike journey in Serbia. Oh my god, you have no idea how much debate I have in my mind to do this. I'm lost for words because I'm just excited and I've been so very <laughs> looking forward to this day. If you can hear my heart beating. I hope the series will be interesting and uh, I have no clue um, as to what Serbia has to offer and so definitely we'll figure it out together. And I think it will be exciting and um, humbling experience. Oh, it's so nice to be back on what her right like this. So Serbia, they drive on the right. Keep right, yeah. Keep right, this is left. No, oh shoot. Shoot. Uh, is that right? Yeah, I hope so. We're turning left. tempted to sit down and uh, have a pit stop but this is just the beginning of the journey but it's too early probably a bit later so the very first destination um, that we are heading to is Hanchefo cycling around. What a lovely scene. People are heading out or they're, they're gone by now <laughs> uh, to their villages to experience the Easter holiday. So I think once it's um, out of the city, it's not as intimidating anymore in terms of the traffic. Stopping over for 
water and uh, just take a five minute break, I guess. <sighs> Don't even know where I am. <laughs> starving since it's Easter holiday everything is pretty much closed and uh, I hope this local place um, will do me a favor of feeding me <laughs> uh, it's been quite a ride I think it's been over 100 kilometers so um, yeah still quite a bit to go and uh, weather doesn't seem to be agree with the excitement that I had in the morning. Hello. You can see the everywhere. Yes. Um, which one do you have? What? The grill. Do you have chicken? Yes. Yes, yes. can I have chicken? If I'm being honest, the road so far has been so flat that uh, for a rider that it was a bit boring <laughs> and I think because this is the first day um, I was a bit impatient of waiting for it to be like mountainous scene but no this is that's why we are heading to this very uh, first city I think Kruchev so look at my lunch grilled chicken with a bit of onion and uh, bread how do you eat it so you eat with the bread? Yes, and yes, yes, yes. With onion and with mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Yes, yes. What's your name? Natasha. Natasha. Yes. Your? Shifa. Where are you from? Indonesia. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Sprinkle that. Mmm. Sorry, you live in Serbia? No, I I travel. Travel? Yes. What is the name of this village? Salakwat. Salakwat. Uh, I am going to Kuchevo. Kuchevo. Yeah, that way, yeah. What's your name? Uh, Vladimir. Vladimir? Oh, Putin. I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Natasha. Yes. And Hi. also Vladimir. Yeah. I just got back from the toilet and asking how much do I need to pay, of course, for the lunch. And they say, we pay for you. How come? <laughs> oh, that is so very kind. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Kvala. Kvala. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Dinner. Da, da. Da, da. I'm 
filling up 95 premium. So it cost me 673 dinar for almost five liters. Voilà. I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's episode. This is just the start of my motorbike journey and uh, if you can't tell, I am beyond excited. Excitement is such an underrated um, explanation as to how I feel about this, this trip that I've been dreaming of. Looking forward to for the type of experiences I will encounter along the road and hopefully you also learn together with me. You can together. What? <laughs> anyway, I think I think I need some rest. Um, yeah. See you again next time on the next episode. Bye.